My name is Campbell, I'm 13 years old. I am in grade seven. I live in Tasmania, which is at the bottom of Australia. Over the four years I've been doing the teddy bears, I think I've made over 1,300 for sick kids in hospital or people unwell around the world. Um, well, it was Christmas Eve one, one year and I said to mum, oh, we should take presents to kids in hospital. They're in hospital, got nothing to do, have to lie on the bed. And mum said that would be a bit too much because she had just shot for nine people in the family. So um, I said to mum, I'll make them then. When I went to make my first teddy bear, it was like, it was very hard. I have never made anything like that before, so I just went up to my room, found a pattern on the internet and read that pattern over and over and then I went to YouTube to watch some YouTube videos. Spent five hours, I had that bear finished. Wasn't very um, pretty, but yeah, it got there. Well, the first time I took Teddy Bear to the hospital, one of them was, was a little boy that was very sick. So I took him a bear and he was amazed. He started smiling and hopping up and giving me high fives and stuff like that. It made me feel really good to see that it put a smile on their face. That kept me going and, and wanted to do more. So I prayed at 365 day, make one prison a day and give it away to kids in the hospital. Not too difficult, not too difficult. It's only one hour of my time. I go to the hospital about three, three times a year. It takes about $70 to make, to make one bed. Um, I use most of my pocket money. And then after a while, a couple of years in, people started to donate fabric and stuff. Every bed that I make has a different name, has a different look. So I made Dad a winner bear because he has cancer, so he could win through the cancer. He went in for treatment one day and came home and I gave him that bear and I said, this is for you, you win it. So that was like three years ago. We have nine people in the family and then I'm the third oldest. When I'm making my bears, the other guys are upstairs playing, outside playing playing on the computers, doing all their stuff. So most of the time, mum would say, come have a look at this, it's like, this is really cool, come have a look at this, and I'm so, I'm pretty noisy. Sometimes I pretend not to hear mum, because I can use the sewing machine as an excuse for noise. My little three-year-old sister, she comes and helps me and passes me the stuff and helps make me make the bear. Once I broke my arm and then um, I still wanted to do my stuff, it was a bit hard sewing, but I tried and I didn't get much done, but I got a bit done. In 2015, I got awarded the Young Citizen of the Year, which is for a child that's doing really good things. I think I was the youngest person to get that award. My plan is to get all these beds out and come home and start making more and getting ready for the next year. I have never thought of stopping my project. I think I'll keep going because I keep wanting to put smiles on people's faces.